Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Battletech. So, we got one more contract we can do without traveling, but first we need to wait five days at least. Because we only have three mechs that we can use. That's not quite enough. Here, that will do. And let's wait for the Shadowhawk actually. Here. Okay then, so now we can accept the contract. This one, supply lines. Two out of ten maximum salvage. Okay. So in that case, one out of six, one out of four, let's go for the money, mostly. Yeah, that works. And what are we going to bring here? Let's remove everything real quick. And what do we have? Definitely the long range missile boat. That's for sure. And what else? Well, the Centurion, the Blackjack, well, yeah, let's just bring the four heaviest mechs, that makes sense. And then, oh, we actually have to wait a little bit longer, or hire a new mech warrior. How long do we have to wait? Nine days. Well, we could hire... One more mech warrior. I'm not sure if I want to. Receiving you. We got one person with bulwark. Ready for orders. All right, fine. We'll get sweep. New mech warriors available. It will save us some time. Both now and in the future. Okay, so again, we'll go mostly for the money. And let's remove everyone really quick. Let's see, remove the panther and replace that with the centurion. Now, who will go where? Good question. Our newest pilot has the worst stats, but she has five in guts. She can go in the blackjack. Then Glitch has the highest gunnery skill. She can go in our artillery boat, the Shadowhawk. And that's that. So, deploy and let's go. So, our objective here is to simply destroy Directorate units. Should be easy, right? Well, we'll find out. How far away are they? Quite far away. There is some cover in the area. Alright, let's move everyone. These are pretty much our strongest mechs right now. I hope we'll be able to get a heavy sometime soon. But we'll see about that. I mean, I'm sure we'll get one at some point. But I would prefer if it happened sooner rather than later. Enemy contact all the way over there. Okay. Not much we can do on this turn. Let's just get some good evasion. And we'll engage on the next turn. So, what are they? Shadowhawk, okay then. Laser and some missiles. We can deal with that. Nice try. So, our turn. How are we going to do this? We could use sensor lock, that makes sense. Especially since he moved already. Only one person has sensor lock, so that will have to be Mendoza. Yeah, let's use sensor lock, that definitely makes sense. That will also remove evasion. Here comes another one. Does he even have direct line of sight from down there? I can't quite tell. Damage minimal. Receiving you. So, let's start doing some damage, shall we? Who should be first? Glitch can be first, with long-range missiles. Sounds good to me. 90%. Alright, go. Do some nice damage for me, thanks. That was pretty decent. Could have been better. Commander. Next up, Behemoth. Let's maybe move slightly more to the right. Well, here's the thing. We will have suboptimal range, unless we move closer. 
but I don't want to move too close because then we'll have no cover. Orders? What about sweep? Yeah, let's move more to the right side. Also away from that guy on the low ground. He might not be able to shoot us like this. That will do. Let's go. I don't expect to do any significant damage to the Shadowhawk on this turn, but I'm doing as much as I can. Now, do we move in or not? We probably could. I mean, the Behemoth has a lot of armor. I mean, the Centurion. Behemoth is the pilot. Okay, let's move a bit closer. We will get a little bit of evasion and we'll move away from that guy on the low ground. Here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We could use Precision Strike and aim for the Torso. It's not a bad idea. There's AC5 in the Torso. Let's try that then. It might work. Structure exposed. I don't think we did quite enough damage. No, we did. Nice. Left Torso and left arm destroyed. That was worth it, for sure. Now, what is this mech? Thunderbolt. Okay, is that a heavy? We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, head hit. And the pilot injured. We'll probably have to back up into cover. Or we can stay where we are and take advantage of bulwark. Because Behemoth does have bulwark. Is this a heavy? Yeah, that's a heavy. Right, well, let's take a shot at the Shadowhawk. We'll unload all the short-range missiles. There's a good chance we will knock it over. We should be able to knock it down with this shot. Confirmed. Come on. I'm pretty sure that will do it. Yep, knock down. Nice one. And we did a lot of damage to the center torso. So now we can target the center torso with someone else. Here comes the other mech. We don't know what that guy is. Oh, another Shadowhawk. He has long-range missiles. But that was indirect fire. Reporting. Minimal damage. Okay. Waiting for orders. So, who is going to finish the job? Good to go. Medusa can do it. What who has the most you? firepower in here? Probably Glitch. But I'd like to target the Thunderbolt with long-range missiles. So, how about now? Yep. Let's move a little bit closer to get more optimal range Confirm. for short-range missiles. This should do it, hopefully. Target the torso, that's 20%. All weapons, fire. Did we get him? There we go, we got him. Nice. Tango down. So now, let's try to neutralize that heavy. He makes me a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. Well, 80%. Unless we want to take a shot with sweep first. To remove his one evasion charge. Let's maybe do that first. Sounds good to me. And now we can take a shot with glitch. Make it a good one. Turn a little bit. Alright, 90%. And we'll do extra stability damage. Let's go. Yeah, that was pretty good. We can't knock it down on this turn, unfortunately. But that was pretty nice damage right there. I think it's best if we focus on the heavy right now. We can finish off the Shadowhawk later. What kinds of weapons does he have? Short range missiles, auto cannon, long range missiles, medium laser. Bit of a weird combo. Standing by. So, let's do this, shall we? We need to move a little bit closer still for optimal weapon range. We might be able to knock him down on this turn. That's what I'm hoping for. 
there's nothing important in the left arm. Acknowledge. Nice one. Although, again, there wasn't anything important in that arm. But it was a nice shot. Here comes the Shadow Hawk. We should be fine. Reporting. Heavy damage. Orders. Okay, who's next? We could actually punch the Shadow Hog, but I'd rather focus on the Thunderbolt. Good to go. Let's go for long range missiles next. And we'll turn slightly more to the left. Yep, that will do. Alright, go. 90%. Make it a good one. Could have been better, but we will knock him down. Just like that. Okay, who's next? Can we take him out on this turn? Possibly. If we get lucky, we might be able to do it. We should move a little bit closer to get optimal range. Alright, we'll move closer, no problem. Left torso. Does he have any weapons in the left torso? Yes, he does. A lot of them. Okay, so... We will at least destroy the weapons. Nice one. Left torso destroyed. So we hurt its firepower quite significantly there. Now, if we want optimal range, we should still move a little bit closer. Let's do exactly that. You're going down, buddy. I don't think we can do enough damage to the center torso. Also, he only has the large laser left and nothing else. We could maybe start doing damage to the Shadow Hog. It's not a bad idea. Firing. Let's do it. Great, we missed. <laughs> we missed with the highest damage weapon. Oh well, I guess that happens. Now he will get up, but he's pretty much toothless. He can try to move into melee range and punch us or something like that. So I suppose that might happen. But he will be going down soon enough. We can punch him back. Armor breach. Internal damage. Okay, so... Let's try to neutralize that Shadowhawk. Because the Thunderbolt already moved. He can't move again on this turn. And I'd like to do some damage to the Shadowhawk. We'll keep Bulwark, so just turn around slightly. And let's use Precision Strike for your higher chance to hit. We'll target the leg. Firing. Nice one. We okay, should be able to knock him down. Now we can punch him if we want to. That will probably do more damage than our weapons here. Or at least it will be more reliable. And I cannot use Precision Strike again. Let's punch him. Come on. Nice. Left leg destroyed. So now we will knock him down. And our turn isn't over yet. Now, how about we finish off the Thunderbolt before he gets a chance to punch us again? We can punch him back. He can get a taste of his own medicine. And Glitch is last. We have to use our weapons here. Alright then. No problem. Hopefully this will do enough damage. It might or might not. Not quite. Okay. Yeah, he will punch us again, which I'm not too happy about. Oh no, he used the large laser. Whatever, it's just one weapon. Doesn't matter too much. Now the other guy will get up. And yep, use long range missiles, but that was indirect fire. And he doesn't have that many of those. 
So since our hit level is a little bit high on the Centurion, let's just punch the Thunderbolt. That wasn't in the oh no, we killed it. <laughs> I thought that didn't actually do anything, but yes, we destroyed it. Let's finish this, shall we? And we can go home. There. Destroyed the auto cannon. He is going down. Uh, we need to move, apparently. Okay, then. No problem. Did we actually lose any body parts on any mech? I don't think we did. Yeah, we didn't. Nice. Let's finish this. And that's a knockdown. Now we can use a cold shot on the center torso. And that's exactly what we're going to do. That wasn't quite enough. But we can do the same thing again. Goodbye. And we are done. We'll get one salvage part from a heavy mech, so... I'm quite happy about that, as far as salvage goes. And we'll get the money, obviously. Five hundred thirty-eight k. Here's the damage we took. That was quite a lot of center torso damage. We lost all the armor on it. Okay. And here's the salvage. We'll get the thunderbolt part because that's a heavy. Well, technically, we could get one shadow hawk part, and then another one might get randomly assigned to us. We do already have one Shadow Hawk, but I suppose another one wouldn't hurt. It is a 55 ton mech. Didn't quite work out, but now we only need one more. Lady Arano's contract to liberate House Decimus is ready for review. Okay. I guess we can check that out. What's going on? Pirates ambush the Argo. Bearing klaxons interrupt an otherwise quiet morning routine as several fast-moving ships appear, pacing the Argo. Darius broadcasts their hail to the bridge. You're flying through our space, strangers. It's awfully dangerous out here. Just awful, especially for a rugged-looking ship like the Argo, is it? Tell you what, we'll provide you with a safe passage, for a price, of course. 50,000. Stall until the Leopard is ready. Broadcast for help from the system authorities. Yeah, let's go for this one. Morale increased by one. Okay, then. So let's check the mech bay real quick. We got three million. Repair, obviously. And our mech bay expansion will be done very soon. Yep, in two days. Now, how about that contract? Liberation Panzer, okay. Well, I suppose we could go do that. We have to go somewhere anyway. 23 days to travel there. Alright, let's travel. We have to do that anyway. Might as well. Upgrades are ready. Let's see what else we can upgrade. So... What's going to be the most useful upgrade here? Recreation, plus one morale. Mech warriors gain 20 experience each day. Mech warriors with less than 10,000 total experience can benefit from this training. Okay. Repair and refit. Yeah, more tech points. That would be quite useful. Alright, let's go for that one. Fine by me. That's 2.6 million. One thing we could do is change some of our weapons while we are traveling. Because we have to wait anyway. And we do have some better weapons, I think. 
let's check the shadow hog. So what do we have here? Yeah, we got LRM20++. We could use that one. Instead of LRM10+. Remove the AC5. Okay, hold on. We can't quite use this one here, unfortunately. Okay, we can't use any more long-range missiles in the Shadowhawk, other than LRM-5. But I kind of want to get LRM-20++. The only issue is that I would have to remove something. So you know what, let's keep this setup for now. We'll get a proper artillery boat at some point when we get a mech that's better suited for that task. What else do we have? Let's see. Oh yeah, we got the better version of short-range missiles. Right, we should definitely get those. So, hold on a moment. Let's back up for a second. Who has the most short-range missiles? The Centurion. Okay. Right. Let's take a look. That could work. We could give it the long-range missiles, but I don't really want to. So let's replace ASRM-6 with ASRM-4++. That's plus two damage and plus one stability damage. And now we actually have some more space for armor. Meaning we can improve our armor. Okay, let's do that then. Sounds good to me. Slightly more rear armor. Left arm, because there's ammunition in there. The torso. And maybe the legs. Here. Looks good? Yeah, that looks good. Confirm. We'll roll with this. It won't take long, only like two days. And I think that's it. No more changes. What about the blackjack? Can we improve it? Somehow? I don't think we can use AC-20 on a blackjack, it's too heavy. 14 tons just for this weapon. That's a little bit too much. Yeah, I don't think we can improve it. Alright, fine. We'll keep it like this. So, let's continue. Yeah, this travel will take a while. We'll get another financial report on the way. Ventilation trouble. In the daily briefing, Darius brings up the barracks climate control system. Apparently, it started cycling randomly between tolerable and the inside of a mech cockpit in a desert. Dr. Murad just shrugs. I can replace the fun controllers again, but it may not be money well spent. Something else is going on in the unimproved power conduits. But the Argo is very old and very complicated. 10,000, replace the controllers. Fine, replace them. We can afford 10,000, it's not really a big deal. That work order is complete, boss. And the upgrade Top is done. Work, if I may say so. Let's check ship upgrades again. Well, we could upgrade the power system. That will unlock some other upgrades. We could also get plus two tech points again. We could get morale. Structural repair. 15 days. Okay. We need structural repair and improved power conduits to upgrade the mech bay again. I don't expect to need level 3 mech bay anytime soon, but I guess we'll need it at some point. Let's do the power conduits. Fine. Behemoth is back. I've got the financial report. And we got the financial report. We'll go with normal still. 
because we are spending quite a lot for ship upgrades. I don't want to run out of money. We can always not upgrade anything, but that seems like a bit of a waste. Especially since many of these upgrades take a while. Let's not go just yet. We'll check the barracks. We probably have some experience we can distribute. Yep. So let's have a look. We could get sensor lock for one more person. I don't think I want to multi-target all that much. Minus 15 or plus 15 overheat threshold, okay. That can be useful. Let's get sensor lock for one more person. Because, you know, pilots get injured. Training and it's nice to have at least one sensor lock in the mission. Orders. Next up, Decker. Let's see, we could save up to get a master tactician. That's a thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to save up. We can also increase his chance to hit, but I'd like to get Master Tactician once he gets enough experience. Called Shots Bonus. Yes, I want that. Next, Medosa. Let's see. Gunnery. Let's go for Tactics. Plus one initiative is quite nice. Okay, sure. And Sweep, our newest pilot. Some points in gunnery first. Yeah, that will do. There, done. And I don't think we're waiting for anything else anymore. No, not really. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.